I'm going to go over the form of how to properly perform a push-up, give you a few tips on how to improve this movement, and hopefully help you get your first real rep. So I'm going to have Leela demonstrate, first of all, how to do a push-up. She's just going to do three reps. Go ahead, come on down, Leela, give us some good push-ups. I'm going to give you a couple tips here right off the bat. She's in this prone position. Come a little closer to that rack, if you would. She's like, got a little bit of a rounded position here with her upper back. Quads are tight. Remember, quads are the front of your thighs. Her pelvis is down, and her hands are right up under, stacked under her shoulder. So when she goes to lower herself down in this push-up, she's going to keep her head in alignment with the rest of her spine. So she's not going to drop her head down or hyperextend it up. Also, she's got about a 45-degree angle with her elbows. She's going to do one more. So as I look at her over the top of her, she's keeping that angle. Nice. Go ahead and take a rest. So these are just a few things that when you're going through your push-ups, I want you to think about. You want to think about as you lower yourself to the ground, you're getting about two inches. Your chest is two inches above the ground. I also want you to think about getting in, getting more connected through your hands and through your big toes. So obviously in a push-up, you're up on your toes. Um, when you go to push yourself back up, think about driving through your hands, through your big toes. So I'm going to have Lila do two push-ups next, where assuming she doesn't know how to do a real push-up just yet, she hasn't built that strength and mobility up, I'm going to have her slowly lower herself all the way to the floor, chest, thighs to the floor, and then I'm going to have her push up from that position. So this is something that you can do um, while you're learning to do push-ups. So same position, rounded upper back, quads are tight, pelvis is down, head is in alignment. She's going to lower herself all the way down, all the way down, touch to the floor, collapse into the floor basically, and then she's going to push up from there. Maintaining that perfect posture. If you could see that, she was very rigid. So we'll do one more here, all the way down. Everything is very tight. Now when she goes to push up, there's a lot of... See that good form through her back and her quads are tight. Go ahead and take a rest. So this is something that you can do when you are um, learning how to do a push-up. First of all, you can just do negatives. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can elevate your hands on something. So I'm going to grab me a little bench real quick and put it, position it right here. Hopefully you'll be able to still see her. All right, same rules apply. She's got the nice rounded upper back, quads are tight. Elbows are at a 45 degree angle. Head is in alignment with the spine. She's gonna get as low as she can. So taking about two seconds to come down all the way. I want her to actually come up a little more through here. So as you push up, she's almost like collapsing through here. Her scapula, she lowers herself and then driving through her hands, rounding into the upper back. So it's really important to be able to maintain proper form and alignment in the push-up in order for it to be effective. So the next time you do this, think about a few of these tips, apply them and see if you can improve, you know, just a little bit every week. Tweak one thing, because this is a lot of information. Um, make sure also that if you're, you know, collapsing to the floor, so you're learning the negative, that you are under control, you properly lower yourself, maybe do it on some carpet so you don't hurt yourself. Um, but if you do have any wrist pain, there's a couple things you can do. You can actually use dumbbells so you grip the dumbbells. You could fold a towel under your, the, palm, the, the heel of your hand or the palm of your hand. Probably do it with both. And that's going to elevate your hand upward. Take some stress off your wrist. Or you can get those perfect push-up handles. Those will help too. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. Get that form down and keep practicing your push-ups.